Sheriff, I've never had quite an introduction like that. Thank you. Um, five years ago, I had the opportunity to work with uh, John DeVoli and Brian Ruff and Kathy Moore and Doc and Senate County Commissioners and others to explore the possibility of doing a broadband strategic plan for Seneca County. And although it didn't move forward at that time, the seed was planted. And so what was really cool to see is that in March, I started talking with Tony and the commissioners again about the possibility of doing something like that, seeing all the federal and also potentially the state money coming down the pike to expand broadband. Had additional discussions, as John was talking about, with the COG and the ESC. Had discussions with Central Regional Planning. And we developed a plan that resulted in the launch of the Rural Broadband Task Force in June and July and August. And we had 27 representatives of the townships, the villages, the school districts, the private providers, county officials, regional planning, and others that got together and together developed a request for proposals to find the best firm to do this plan. With the county saying, hey, you know what? If we come up with a really good firm to do this and everybody's on board, we will fund it. And so we ended up recruiting and putting that together and putting it out. And we got 10 proposals from around the country uh, to do this plan. And then we narrowed that and interviewed two finalists. And it was almost unanimous to select the team of Vice Miller Whiteboard, DLZ, and Thomas B. Morrison Associates to do this plan. I, mean, I think we all know through the last couple of years of the coronavirus pandemic how important broadband is for education, healthcare, uh, as well as public services. But what I can tell you also is that it's critical for economic development. The research shows that in rural communities, broadband has a direct connection, a direct causal link with higher income, lower unemployment, and overall economic growth. We know from the annual surveys that are done every year of site selection executives at companies that, that pick where the next plants and facilities are gonna go, that it still it ranks very, very high on their list of criteria. And we also know, especially in the last couple of years, that broadband impacts a company's ability to recruit and find the workers that they need to continue to grow, which is the number one issue, even over above supply chain and inflation, which are also challenges. Because what they see is that for job seekers, it enables them to more easily find jobs, apply for those jobs, and to stay job seeking longer. And for companies, through e-recruiting, it allows them to tap into a, a bigger labor pool more cheaply and thus increase the likelihood that they're going to get the people they need to continue to grow and be successful. So on March the 1st, we were able to announce with Representative Click, Senator, Senator Reinecke, Commissioner Paradiso, Tiffin Mayor Aramont, and many, many others, that Seneca County, for the fifth time in six years, was ranked in the top 10 of rural communities across America, and there are almost 600 of them. And I believe very strongly that the way that growth is going to be sustained is strategic investments to make sure that we can access the labor force and give the companies the infrastructure they need to be successful. Um, 